What is the most powerful red light therapy panel on the market? Well, I've tested a lot of panels over the years. In fact, I have 17 of the latest wall panels behind me. I've also got a really cool spectrometer. I've gone through, checked out their numbers, crunched the data, and I'm gonna share with you the top 10 most powerful red light therapy panels in 2024. Let's go. Now look, power and red light therapy is, it's an interesting topic, okay? So bear with me here because this is quite important. Firstly, there's a lot of ways you can measure power output. I personally use a spectrometer. It is quite accurate. I'd say within 5% of a professional laboratory, which is good. A lot of companies are using what are known as light meters or solar meters. These meters are generating rather high, typically two or three times higher than real world data. So often what happens is companies get these high numbers from these inferior meters and those are the numbers you see on their website. That's why you can go over to a website and see a company that says we have the most powerful panel in the market and it's putting out two or 300 milliwatts over centimeter squared and you should buy our panel. Well, if you've seen any of my reviews and I've done a lot of them, check them out below. Be sure to subscribe to see future reviews. I actually look at the company's claims and then I do the testing and yeah, there's always a big difference. The other thing is how you test the panels. I test them six inches from the panel. Uh, the further away from the panel you go, the lower the power output. Uh, six inches has just become a bit of a standard. It just means comparing panels is a lot easier. Speaking of comparing panels, be sure to head over to Light Therapy Insiders and check out the shopping tool there because you can sort through 50, 60, 70 different products I've tested and see a bunch of metrics on power, price, all sorts of cool things. So yeah, I test at six inches. Other companies may test at 12 inches, 24 inches, but for the purposes of this video, all the numbers I'm sharing are at six inches. And now finally, we have how they're doing that testing. You can have the right device and the right distance, but there's an issue if you just take a snapshot reading. What I do is I actually measure nine different points on a panel and then take an average. I tried to six around the perimeter, three through the center line. Gives me a pretty good indication of what the panel is doing. Like I said, I then take an average and it's this average we're gonna use in this video to determine which panel is the most powerful. Now, the other thing I need to mention is more power is not always better. It is a very somewhat controversial topic, to be honest. Uh, it is something I wanna work on. I'm gonna be doing some more videos on dosing and power output. I'm also gonna be speaking to people like James Carroll to try get a better understanding on this. Okay, so I've tested all 17 of these panels. I'm gonna rank them from best to worst, but we're gonna start at ninth place. So we're gonna get rid of the bottom six because yeah, they were rather low powered. So in ninth place, we have the Mito Red Mito Pro X. This had an average irradiance figure of 68 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Now, I just need to say before we go further that this number is a really good power output. 68 milliwatts, you're gonna get good penetration into the tissue. You're gonna get a good therapeutic dose in as little as a couple of minutes. If you're only wanting surface level treatment, yeah, there's plenty of power here. You can go further away from the panel out to 12 inches, even 24 inches, and you're still gonna get a therapeutic dose. So even if there's a panel you really like comes in low in this ranking, don't worry, these panels, these panels are powerful. Now in eighth place, we have the Infrared Pro Max at 72 milliwatts over centimeter squared. This panel is exceptionally loud. Before you go out and buy this one, make sure you watch that review uh, because it is, yeah, it's not the most pleasant panel to use. In seventh place, we have the Royo Therapy Refine 900 with 73 milliwatts over centimeter squared. A very unique, quite a fascinating panel. It's only their second generation panel, but it has some awesome features in it. I'm not gonna get into it in this video, but this is a panel you need to learn more about. Uh, I'll put links to the product down below. Uh, and also the review. Go check out my review, you'll love it. Now in sixth place, we have the Red Therapy Co. Red Rush 840 Pulsed Panel. This is putting out 76 milliwatts over centimeter squared. It's only using 660 and 850. The other panels so far have used multiple wavelengths, so you get an 810, 830, 630, uh, but the Red Therapy Co. just sticks to the basics. In fifth place was the Rouge Care G3 Pro with a figure of 81 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Now what's interesting is I tested this early in 2023, and at the time, I think it was the most powerful panel I tested. Whenever I do a review, I add all the data into the Light Therapy Insider shopping tool, uh, so you can go through and rank it from highest power to lowest. And I'm pretty sure that at the time of the review, 
they were at number one. If you go over and look at that shopping tool now, you'll see that in a space of 12 months, a lot has changed. Now in fourth place, we have the Huga Ultra 1500. This has a figure of 82 milliwatts over centimeter squared. This is a really nice panel. They have quad chip LEDs, meaning each LED has four different chips putting out four different wavelengths. Uh, you're gonna get a really nice blend of light and at 82 milliwatts over centimeter squared, you're also getting a lot of power. Okay, so there's three panels to go. If you're enjoying this, can you just take a second, scroll down or use your thumb, uh, hit the like button and then also subscribe because I've done a ton of reviews and I've got heaps more coming out. So if you like this stuff, I promise you, there's a good chance you're gonna like the other stuff that's coming out soon. Also feel free to say hi, leave a comment, share it, do all that cool stuff. I really do appreciate the support. Speaking of support, if you wanna buy any of these panels, uh, I'll put discount codes and links down below in the show notes. If you click the link and use the code, you'll save a bunch of money. I get a little bit of a commission. Helps me keep doing this. It's a win-win. So now in third place, we have the Canadian company Carla with their Carla Elite. This panel is putting out 84 milliwatts over centimeter squared. Great figure, exceptional power here. Now, if you've seen my reviews, you'll notice I also do two other readings when it comes to the power section. I do the average irradiance, which I'm sharing with you here, which is probably the most important to get an idea of how much light is coming from the panel, like overall. But I also do a peak reading, and this is where I move around and just try find the highest figure, even if it's just at one point. That is interesting, but it's not really useful. I mean, you could have an amazing amount of energy coming in this particular spot, but everything else is really low. It, you'd rather know the average, right? But the other reading I do is I share a wattage figure. It's not the wattage that's been used by the panel, uh, you know, how much energy is draw, drawn from the wall. The companies will share a wattage figure. To be honest, it's rather useless. I've done a video all on this and, and how it's a bit confusing. Uh, the figure I come up with here is looking at the average irradiance, and then I take the area of the panel and I do a bit of math and I get an overall optical wattage figure. It's how much therapeutic light you're getting from that panel. Now the two variables are the average irradiance and then the size, but for the top three panels, I'm gonna share this wattage figure. So the Color Elite has a figure of 119 watts, that meaning that's how much therapeutic light you're getting in watts when using this panel. Okay, so that leaves two. Now in second place, we have the Block Blue Light Mega 4.0. This panel has a whopping irradiance figure of 87 milliwatts over centimeter squared. This is huge. And like the Rouge I was talking about earlier when I tested the Block Blue Light panel, they also came out at number one at that point in time. As you're gonna find out, they're no longer number one, but still 87 is huge. It's getting to the point where some of these panels may be putting out too much light, too much energy. If you just wanna treat the skin or do a really low dose routine, you're either gonna to have to stand a long way away from the panel or just do a really short treatment. However, there's a possibility with the radiance figures at this level, even if it's a short treatment dose, you may still be overloading the body. Cool thing is a lot of these new panels, and this is true for block blue light and also the panel that comes out number one, there's a dimming function built in. So you can go through and reduce the power output if you wish. So Block Blue Light Mega, great panel. It's actually actually a really good panel. Check out the review on that one. Uh, a lot of people love it. It's a go-to for, for many people. I highly recommend it as well. However, when it comes to pure power, there's something even better. And that panel is, drum roll please, the Platinum LED Biomax 900, eighth generation panel. Now this panel puts out 90 milliwatts over centimeter squared at six inches. This is an average figure. It's crazy. It's it's ridiculous, uh, maybe not ridiculous, it's a lot of power, a lot of energy. So yeah, that means you're gonna get great penetration, it means you're gonna get a ton of therapeutic light. Remember, this is photobiomodulation, this is light that has been documented to help benefit the body. And I should note with the Biomax panel, it actually includes blue light LEDs as well. But I disabled the blue light for this reading, so we're only looking at the red and the near infrared wavelengths, not the blue. So the whole panel is not even running at full capacity. If you turn the blue light on, you'd get an even higher figure, though it's outside the red and the near infrared range. Hence why I didn't include it. Still though, 90 milliwatts, crazy numbers. If you're after a panel that's all about high power levels, then the Biomax panel is the one to go for. But I talked about those watts earlier. Let's share the wattage data because it gets a little bit interesting here. You see the Biomax panel has a wattage output figure of 186 milliwatts, which is enormous for a panel with 300 LEDs or less. 
but it's actually not the highest. The Block Blue Light Mega has a wattage figure of 190 watts, which is higher than the Biomax. So you're probably thinking, what's going on here? How can the Biomax have a higher radiance average, but lower wattage? Well, it's because of the size. I mean, when you look at them, they actually look very similar size-wise, but the Block Blue Light Mega is slightly wider and slightly taller. So it means you can have a larger area. Sure, the average power output is lower, but when it comes to true treatment size, true treatment area, you're getting more light coming from the Mega. So that's why it's slightly better. Is it more powerful? Well, I mean, you're getting more power from it, from a treatment area point of view, but the Biomax is slightly more intense, so to speak. At the end of the day though, both of these panels are great. In fact, all of these panels in the top nine are all great. Like I said before, I've reviewed all of them. I'm actually going to be doing a comparison between the Biomax 900 and the Block Blue Light Mega because a lot of people are trying to decide which one they should go for. So be sure to subscribe for that. But most importantly, just know that all these panels are putting out a heap of power. Even if you get a panel that wasn't on this top nine list, you're still gonna get a decent therapeutic amount of energy. Now, before you go, there's another thing I need to mention. If 90 milliwatts over centimeter squared isn't enough for you and you want something even more powerful than that, well, there is a consumer grade red light therapy product out there that's putting out a whopping 500 milliwatts over centimeter squared. You can learn more about it by clicking this video up here. It's my full review. The numbers on this thing are insane. Check it out.